Hi, welcome to my channel, Judy's Losing It. My name's Judy, and let's talk week 24. Now, I think this is the second week 24 I've put up. I've gotten confused, okay? That's all I can say. I've gotten confused, and um, so I recounted my weeks, and this is week 24. Um, so, once again, I've gotten all over the place. It's been a hot minute since I've been here, so um, just to let you know, uh, I had VSG in uh, Hospital BC in Tijuana, Mexico um, on July 2nd, 2019. Um, my high weight from 2018 was um, 385. I lost 30 pounds on my own, so when I started my pre-op diet, I was 355. Um, I lost 21 pounds on my five-week pre-op diet, and that put me at 334, date of surgery. Um, and today, I came in at uh, 275.3. Yay me! Which means, I basically, since my high weight, I've lost... 110 pounds 109.7 I'm calling it 110 and I've lost uh, 59 or 58.7 or 59 pounds uh, since surgery nearly 60 that's a lot it's I've gotten through the holidays yay it has not been well, okay, let me step back. I just decided that I was going to eat small amounts. If I wanted it, fine. If I didn't, fine. Um, so for Christmas Eve, I had um, lasagna, uh, but it was made with uh, zucchini rather than regular noodles. So that was a step up. Um, quite delicious, full of calories. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good. Uh, my niece and I made that together. Um, I had a cookie or two on Christmas Eve. I had uh, a couple pieces of pie. Um, but it's like, I don't, granted, I'm not in maintenance yet. I feel a huge responsibility this year um, to move forward in my uh, weight loss journey, which means I want to lose that next 50 pounds. I mean, if I can lose another 50 pounds, I'm going to be very, very happy. If I can get down to the 225, that's going to be tremendous and I don't really care after that you know what I mean it's like you probably don't but the lowest weight I've ever been as an adult was 259 and I was only there like one day and then I went back up to in the to the 260s so for me being 225 is going to be amazing and really, really healthy. Um, so, you know, I had a week off, not my choice, but uh, water aerobics closed for a week uh, over Christmas week, so I didn't have water aerobics, which really sucked. Um, I... Uh, but I went this week, and um, I'm really talking about Tuesday, uh, December 31st, 2019. Today is actually the first, but um, I didn't get around to, I had, I had a New Year's Eve party to go to, babe. <laughs> and it was fun. Um, but yeah, I really feel like I, I can do it, but I've got to really change my attitude and diet 
with that I mean I've got to stick to plan more and you know whatever that is just stick to it um, but I was pleased with um, my dinner tonight I actually made my own dinner and I have leftovers for several days um, that was interesting I, I definitely will tweak the recipe um, but but I don't I haven't really felt a lot like cooking and so I was really happy I just felt like doing something now I would have probably done something else but I was here at the house I really wasn't gonna leave so I um, got I had bought some hamburger at um, uh, Costco so I, I I get the three pack though organic stuff and anyways I really like that meat haven't really had a problem with it and so I cooked one of the packages up put some uh, onion and garlic and uh, tomato paste in the future I think I might have put some um, vegetables uh, like maybe broccoli um, or even like some canned green beans might have been okay but just some more volume filler there and then I had bought the um, cauliflower mash and I used that as the topping over the ground meat base and quite good quite tasty and uh, yeah I was happy with that for dinner um, I went to I went on a road trip with my niece uh, for two days we drove four hours down to Portland Oregon and um, and we had a lovely time, but it sucks. I'm so, so happy I've lost all this weight. But in years past at this weight, I was hiking. I was hiking in one day at least, you know, anywhere from seven to 11 miles. Granted, I'm not in hiking shape. I'm not saying that. But um, <laughs> with my peripheral artery disease, <sighs> I don't have much distance. Have I said again how disappointing that is? <laughs> to have lost 110 pounds and not be able to walk. And it became very apparent in the city. Um, when we got there, my goal for going was to go to Powell's bookstore. Um, my niece, Katie, I think she was just ready to get out of town. So um, we didn't actually spend the night in the city. I had my dog, so we ended up um, staying at an Airbnb cabin uh, behind somebody's house. And that worked out really well. Um, but, you know, we went into Portland and excuse me, found some parking, which can be quite a challenge, and uh, walked. Um, I, I did some walking. Um, we parked and then we were extremely hungry on Sunday. And so um, I let her pick where we're gonna eat. And she picked a Moroccan restaurant. So we get there and um, I've never eaten, I've eaten Middle Eastern food, but not necessarily Moroccan. And uh, so I had a, a chicken shawarma, which was quite delicious, way too much for me to eat. Uh, we tried to just order one dish to share and the woman was like, oh, I don't think it'll be big enough. And so we ordered two dishes, um, but instead of getting it over rice, I had it put over hummus and which was quite tasty. And then, um, and then my niece ordered uh, lamb over rice, and I forget exactly what it was. But then they, you know, they said that the meals came with pita bread. Well, you know, you think of pita bread. Well, this was huge. <laughs> and obviously it would serve more than two, and we, wasn't, we weren't able to eat nearly enough of it. But I had a few bites of it. Uh, I dipped it in the hummus, and it was quite tasty and delicious and um and I was <laughs> I was walking it off that day um from there we went to um Lush uh it's a 
well, kind of a natural cosmetics, skin care, hair care. Um, my niece is finishing up her welding degree and is going to be working as a professional welder. And um, she has some issues going on with her face because of the back um, blow, you know, from all the torch work. So um, they suggested a scrub for her and she was having some issues with her hair. <laughs> so she was getting that taken care of. And I talked to them about um, my hair loss. They had no idea that, oh, it was like, oh, you poor thing. And it's like, no, it's just part of weight loss surgery. Um, but anyways, the person I was talking to knew absolutely nothing about it, but that was fine. And I got this um, wasabi, oh, wasabi mint and something or other <laughs> hair care uh, to stimulate the scalp. So I thought that might be fun to try. Um, I'll let you know if it does anything. <laughs> I don't really have high hopes, but you know, it's, it's fun to give something new a try. And, uh, but from walking downtown to go get our lunch and then walking in more of a, more of a suburban type setting, all of a sudden I had to sit down because my uh, calf was cramping. I got back to the car just fine, but it was painful getting in the car, I have to say. Uh, bending my leg just was a little awkward. It, because it hurt and I didn't know exactly how to bend it without hurting me more and I hear it hurt more um, So yeah, and then on uh, Monday uh, We were back in the city and we went to Powell's bookstore, which was wonderful But I was a little bit tired from the day before um, Oh, and I have to tell you about breakfast. I don't remember the name of the restaurant at all Lenny and Zeke's or something like that. But it was a uh, Jewish deli style breakfast place. Well, it was more, they didn't wear the breakfast. Um, but I had uh, two eggs, two pieces of um, pastrami, and two latkes. Um, I never had, well, I had latkes before. I know they're made out of potato and all that. So I just took a couple bites of that. And, you know, I ate my two eggs, but I was only able to eat the one piece of pastrami, but it was delicious, and I'm so glad I got it. I was going to bail and just get bacon, and I thought, no, try something different. So I was very happy that I did. And um, had a great time at Powell's, was totally amazed. It was the first time I'd ever been there. Um, highly recommend it if you're in Portland to stop by. It takes up a full city block. Uh, it comes with its own map and you need it to get around. <laughs> um, yeah, three stories. Um, it, was, it was incredible. For a book lover like myself, it was wonderful. And I just did not have nearly enough money to spend on books. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope you are doing well, and um, I will be back again very shortly. Um, I do have my six month uh, update, and um, in a couple of days. So I will talk more then. And uh, Happy New Year. I hope I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.